Man. What is it? I'm gonna start part two and I'm gonna show them the start part two and the water's cleared up a lot. This is where I catch my bass and crappie and bluegill and cat I've caught bass, crappie, bluegill, catfish, and carp out of here. And my dad's caught walleyes, which I've never caught, but he said they're in here and he's caught them before, so I might try to catch one with it. It says they're the hardest fish to catch. So, I don't know, but this is part two, guys. And we got Dalton up there making videos with his CRF 80F. And I'm making a video on my CRF 150F. Uh, but this water is beautiful. Like, this is probably the most, this is one of the most beautiful spots in this creek. And right around that Kirk Torner up there is where I fish. Uh, I can't really fish here without getting snagged. Now, I do have a lure that's a, uh, oh, what's it called? I'll think of it, guys, but it will not get stuck no matter. I've never, ever had it get hung or I've never had it get stuck in the water before. I can get snagged. I'll think of what it's called. Uh, it's like a, you know, the spinner baits have like a hair thing, like the plastic hairs on it. It has that on it. I'll think of what it's called. I forgot, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's like a I'm trying to think of what it's called but that's the only thing I'm going to get snagged and in this creek you really need something with a spinner on it or like a spoon I need a spoon on it but yeah guys I like to take the four wheelers and stuff down in here in this water because it ain't that deep I just don't know how we'd ever get down in here about to cut some trees off and I don't know how I'd do it but I guess we should go over here and go riding, I guess. Some, what is it, that? snails? Well, that one, we should probably go ride, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. I'll have him, if you want to watch his YouTube channel, I'll have him comment in the comments below and I'll pin his comment. You decided a name yet? Nothing. Your YouTube? Uh, <laughs> you haven't decided on a name yet? No. Make it a uh, tacked out central. <laughs> oh man. Hey, walk up a hill is not a good idea. <laughs> I might edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna be edited out in mine. <laughs> yeah, I slid down that hill. <laughs> uh, where should we go now? You want to go on that one other field? The other one. Which is boring to drive in, but at least it's a less bumpy than these. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Uh, you want to go to the house for quick and out my tire? Well, or, I think it'll go flat as soon as you heard it. Yeah, I mean, it does. But... Sorry, guys, if my camera's moving. I not have to smoke him out as much. He does come out. Got it in a higher gear so it don't spin. Might record a video of us racing. Show you the difference between the CRF 80F and the 150S power van. Obviously, 150 is faster, but.
I have to ride a 150R. Let's see how that's power it feels. I'm so used to my 660 Raptor, like nothing feels fast anymore. I mean, this dirt bike feels pretty stout to be a trail bike. I'm blowing my chest out, guys, so I don't move as much. I need to buy me a better one. This one just moves too much. It's like there's too much weight at the top. I might try to readjust it or re redesign it or whatever. Stand up, guys, and that might help. This is mud. <laughs> I spun mud all over the car. <laughs> You'll have to get on his YouTube and check it out. Mud all over me. Ooh. I'm gonna have to get close. Alright, <laughs> oh, you're getting mud all over me now. Bouncy. End of part two. Now I throw a lot of mud all over you. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It got all over me. It got, got all over my bike. <laughs> well, guys, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.